welcome black jeez welcome back to my vlogs i'm so excited to be doing vlogs again um today is the first day of my second week of my second year of my grad program so i'm officially a second year grad student i survived year one you guys it's kind of like hard to believe and my phone is in a um awkward place right now because i got a new car my alarm is going off all right all right which means i'm just supposed to be leaving my house now um what was i gonna say oh yeah my phone is in a weird awkward place right now because let me see if i can adjust it a little bit i don't think that did much because i got a new car and it has less like dashboard space than my last car so i have to like figure out where or what kind of like um thing i can get so that i can do vlogs in my car but it's now 8 30 and excuse me oh excuse me and i'm debating whether or not to get breakfast like i've been trying to do this um like start my morning off strong so that my day can be off strong and part of that is making sure to eat breakfast but i woke up late today so i didn't get to make breakfast and i'm also debating whether or not i should buy breakfast because parking on campus is very hard especially in the parking garage by my um building so like it's 8 30 right now and i'm pretty sure it's like probably half full and there's like 1100 spaces in that parking garage um so if i stop to get breakfast i might debate i might um delay the process of getting a parking spot so because because it's already 8 30 i think i'm just gonna go straight to campus because i don't know but then my class is like three hours long and i'm already hungry now yep we're just gonna we're just gonna chance it we are just going to chance it um I think I'm gonna stop at Dunkin because Starbucks doesn't really fill me up and it's more pricey than Dunkin's. But yeah, you guys, um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to be doing these vlogs because my weeks are very um, sporadic. If that makes sense, I have class Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then I have Pro Sam, which is just like an area kind of like thing where we just get to know each other, get to know the faculty and department, yada, 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 and stuff like that. So it's not a class. I don't get a grade for it, um, but it is mandatory to go. So that's really it. So I'm only obligated to be on campus four out of five days of the week, but also my classes are all in the morning. So like after... After 11.45, I'm really, like, done being on campus. Um, but I try to stay on campus so that I can, like, try and stay productive. And that's why I didn't um, vlog my first week because I knew it was going to be a bunch of um, trying things out and, like, a lot of here and there and, like, getting to know. Because also, you guys, even though this is my second year, this is my first year taking classes on campus like last year everything was online if you watch my like old vlogs um you can see that i was just home taking classes so this is kind of new to me so i was just like trying to get a feel of the campus get a feel of my routine and my routines my routine still isn't set in place but i feel like it's enough set in place that i could just start vlogging so that's why i started vlogging today instead of last week um but yeah i'm not gonna like run my mouth off you guys are just gonna see what it is oh my gosh i finally get to show you i don't know if i showed you guys my um office in any of my vlogs from last year oh also you guys will start seeing my hair because i'm i started a lock journey so i will be locking my hair um i'm three weeks and three days in so it's kind of crazy how fast time goes by but i have my first retwist on friday i can't really show you guys because i'm driving obviously um but i'm low-key loving this journey because my hair i've i loved my hair before but i'm like really 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 loving it now because it's like i have to take that extra time to like really figure out what my hair wants what my hair likes what my hair doesn't like um, stuff like that and like I've been trying out these like different hairstyles that I would have never tried out before that are just like so cute okay I'm going to a stop sign so uh stoplight so I can probably show you guys okay but look 
like and my edges child so like i've been trying out these little cute little hairstyles and i've been finding these youtubers that are also doing lock journeys and i'm just like this is so beautiful dang that line turf this light doesn't usually turn this fast uh but yeah so i've been locking my hair so you guys are gonna see my hair a lot um i'm debating whether or not i want to do like those weeks where i'm like really in need of a retwist um do i want to put a wig on i kind of don't want to put a wig on unless i'm like a big event like my birthday i know for a fact i'm gonna be putting a wig on but like i feel like that's the only time right now that i think that i can um really have to put a wig on but yeah you guys three three weeks in oh my skin Eleven forty-five, and I um, just got out of class. My first and only class for uh, Mondays is my professional development class, and um, today was really good. Uh, we talked about setting writing goals, understanding our best times for writing, um, setting out goals. Did I say that already? But like, we set out this like weekly planner slash semester planner, and then we're also going to keep each other accountable for our writing goals so we have this um excel file that will all that will all update as the semester goes on so that we can keep each other accountable and then we also talked about informative interviews so informative inf uh, informative interviews are basically when you have an interview with someone because you're either interested in um sorry one second You're either interested in the job that they're doing or the research that you're, that they're doing and you want to know how you can get um, to that place. Why is there only one garbage can in here? I don't like that. So my professor for that class actually found someone for me. One of her friends, she went out, she says that she went to have drinks with her on Friday and told her like, hey, I have this uh, student that would, um, that you would be perfect to do an informative interview for. So I'm just gonna like give you guys an idea. The reason why I'm doing my informative interviews is because I do not want to stay in academia after I graduate. For me, I just feel like it's not the space that is for me. Like if you don't know already, academia is is it's a bit of a toxic work environment. And I'm gonna try and hurry because I'm in the office and obviously someone else might come in here. And I also want to get back to work. But, um, I don't want to leave this here. I'll leave this in my car. Like, women aren't really respected as much as men. Like, we make less than men. Um, and also, yes, the schedule is very flexible in academia, but that flexibility also kind of, my flower just kind of revived itself. It also takes a lot of your time. Like, people might say, you don't work a 9 to 5, yes, but sometimes I'd be working, like, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. or, like, 6 a.m. to, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, like, even though it's a flexible work schedule, it's also a very demanding work schedule. And I don't really know if that's for me. And also, like, really, there's only two paths in academia, research and teaching. And I don't want my own lab. Like, I like doing research, but I don't like being forced to do research if that makes sense like if you're being paid to do research obviously you need to meet deadlines and do that research and stuff and then I, I like doing research just for the knowledge of it all and for the outcome of it all I hope I'm making sense so I'm looking to go into like a government job after I graduate um, currently my sites are on education policy so two of my three informative interviews are with women <laughs> that um, work in those fields. So one specifically works in education policy. Another works in 
uh, not the government job. I think she works in the Senate office, Senator's office. And the third one, I haven't emailed her yet, so I'm not even going to, like, I haven't actually haven't even emailed the second one yet, but she works for NIH, so, which um is the, I can't remember the acronym for NIH right now, but it's basically research. So, yeah, that's basically um what I've done this morning. Um, I'm going to take, like, a 10-minute break just to, like, decompress from all that. And then after that, I'm going to get into planning for the rest of the week. So I'm going to um, go on my Google Calendar, which I will show you guys a lot, like, times to do stuff. And then I'm also going to go into, oh, my gosh, you got finishing. So the, my professor is also the department chair. Well, Department of Development is, like, chair of development. I think that's, anyway. She got us all this um, planner. It's called the Lot Planner. And you see how thick this planner is. This planner is an amazing planner. I think I'm going to, like, thumb through this to try and, like, get my mind um, on planning and stuff. Also, because we were talking about planning, I kind of have a better idea of how I want to plan my upcoming months. I'm only going to plan maybe... Because this, this has, like... I'm getting, like, tons of emails. Um, this has a vision board, life plan, 24-month calendar, inspirational note page, what makes me happy page, monthly brainstorming, monthly challenges, monthly calendars, monthly goals, quarterly goals, quarterly reflection, life goals. It has a lot. Like, this is everything that it has. Like, it has a lot of stuff. So, I think I'm going to thumb through this just for September, and I think I'm going to use this on, like, a monthly basis, and then I'm going to, um base my weekly goals based on this monthly planner if that makes sense so i'm gonna have multiple um tools to do my planning but i'm hoping that i can make a successful what's the word it's not coming to me but it like when you have like things working for you together successful unit successful system I'm hoping to create a success, successful system using like my Google Calendar and this and then also my professor recommended Trello um, to do like task based planning. So I'm going to use those three things to kind of keep me like organized this semester because this semester I definitely have to be like on top of my things on top of my like um, work and stuff and research and stuff because my advisor is on maternity leave so I can't really go to her as often as I would like before we would have weekly meetings with her and then also you can message her on the side if you have like something that pops up but now we're only doing monthly check-ins and even then I'm kind of like hesitant to reach out to her because like she's on maternity for a reason like she's going to have an infant like a fresh out of the uterus baby like I don't want to bother her when she's like has her motherly obligations so yeah um so that's what I'm going to be working on for like another hour or so. So from 12 to 1. And then I'm going to have lunch. And I have um, I have to go to the chiropractor at 2. Fun fact, you guys. I have scoliosis and it's gotten extremely bad. So now I'm actually taking care of it. And it requires like going to the chiropractor twice a week now. Yeah, I mean. Um, so that's at 2. I think I'm going to go... Mm, I didn't factor in buying lunch today because I'm usually I'm trying I'm also trying there's all so many things I'm trying this semester it's a bit overwhelming but I'm trying to budget and manage my money way better because this past year I've just been blowing through money and it's absolutely ridiculous so I'm trying to for Monday to Friday at least I'm trying to excuse me um eat out once a day so either breakfast or lunch but not both but like I said today I woke up late so I had to buy breakfast and I don't know if I can make it in time to go home and make lunch and make it to my appointment by two I'll definitely do that but it's not looking in the cards for it's I hate how this is sticking out there we go flat down but guys look at the texture from the back I don't know if you guys can see it but like the back I don't, I don't know if you the back i'm in love um but back to what i was saying um i don't know if i'll be able to like go home and make lunch and then make it to my appointment for two so i'm just gonna probably buy lunch and then wednesday i'm not gonna spend any money at all maybe won't spend any money on friday because i don't have i have pro time on friday but that's like in the afternoon so i could just be at home come for pro time and then go back home 
Um, so yeah, just to like even out the spending. But yeah, now that I'm done catching you guys up on the past two-ish, two, almost three hours that I've been gone, even though it's probably been like two seconds that I've been gone for you guys, I'm gonna show you my office. So this is basically the Andrea's corner. I'm gonna start over. So those are my pictures that I showed you guys. I have, I'm trying to hurry also before anyone comes in here. I have a little mirror that like if i have to go in the run i can check how i'm looking and the markers were supposed to be for um this but i keep forgetting to get something to get this to stick on here and i barely even use this this was from like early june early july so i barely use that and i have dual computer love this so much sometimes i'm even using the dual computer and my laptop i just love it so much it just makes me feel productive um i have this huge desk calendar um, I barely use it, but now that, like, events and stuff are actually starting, I'm probably going to use it more. And then I have this little, I don't know what it's called, organizer with my pens, highlighters. Um, these are some books that some older grad students gave me. This is just, like, revi they're kind of stuck in their tight. Revising your dissertation and, um, what's this one? Your PhD companion, um, the insider guide to mastering the practical realities of getting your PhD, and then this one is just um, I think APA guidelines for like when you're writing. I have sticky notes, um, some clips, whatever, whatever, and then in here I have no, the student book. This is another planner that one of my friends got me. If you're watching this, I was using this up until a very long point it just started overwhelming me i'm sorry but i do use it for like tracking my workouts and stuff like as you can see um so yeah i have like perfume uh lotion hand sanitizer gotta keep myself clean and then in here i just have a bunch of books like books that like personal reading books also these are some academic books but yeah these are just books that can't like really fit you guys i just finished reading this if you like reading and if you're a romantic fiend i highly 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 recommend it. i probably cried like three times reading this book but yeah and then just more books and then down here i just have my blanket because it gets very very cold also this plant is a trooper i got it last year september I've been in this office maybe a good like 20 to 30 times. I've never watered it. The um, other grad students that were in here have watered it because they're like, this is the only plant in here. Might as well have something to do. And it's right by the um, the window so it gets sunlight. And it's actually surviving. Like, this has grown so much. I don't know. Maybe also the, um, the custodial staff comes in here and probably takes care of it because I don't know how... This is still doing so good. But yeah, we have a printer, a stapler, all that stuff. And yeah, that's basically my... I have a I have a sweater in here, but I've never worn it. Um, but yeah, this is my little corner. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys like a quick um, look into my, like, my Google Calendar. So I have seven different calendars that I use. And I didn't always use this method but this kind of like helps me a bit now so i have personal birthdays i didn't do it's kind of like linked to my phone um content creating and that's when i make like youtube stuff errands grad school reminders self-care sienna <laughs> and then tasks i don't even use tasks but like i can't delete it um so personal oops. so personal is just like my like regular stuff so i I have like my morning routine, which I wake up from 6.30 and then I try and get ready by 8. Um, and like when I go to the gym, like this kind of fluctuates. I have it set in my calendar, but I have yet to actually go at this time. But it's just to like have it in my calendar. When I want to have lunch, um, like friend stuff, like I helped my friend. Um, we actually didn't. I didn't help him move. We just like hung out, whatever. But like stuff like that, so personal stuff. And then content creating, like I said, this is for when um, I want to do like YouTube stuff. So I film videos or whatever. And editing and then scheduling for um, what I want to create for the next week and then errands um, so that's like if I have a service appointment for my car or like on Sundays I do laundry and then grocery shop for the week so those are what I consider errands 
um grad school obviously that's my classes my meetings um i tutor and i this isn't for grad school but um it's so that i can put it on my seat i'm tutoring so that i can add something to my cv so that's kind of like what it is oh i also i'm getting a tattoo this weekend you guys a whole tattoo i'm so excited um what else reminders my reminders are just for like bills so like uh, my rent and my insurance is due on Wednesday so I have a reminder for that uh, self-care I don't remember like the last time I had something on my calendar for self-care I'm looking oh okay so like if I get my nails done that's considered self-care my waxes self-care my lashes I'm not I don't know if I'll be doing lashes this semester kind of wanna um, save some money on that and then sienna so sienna is basically her vet appointments um or her grooming so just like have her own calendar so i can know what to do and this is basically how i just keep my self in check and also what i love about the reason why i like doing the seven calendars instead of using one is that i can just take stuff off you know like if i just want to look at my grad school stuff i can take off all the rest of the calendars and just look at my grad school stuff um or if i want to just look at my personal stuff or if i just want to look at my self-care stuff which nothing is planned for this week but um yeah that's kind of like what why i like the seven calendar way instead of the just using one and having different colors like it's basically the same if you really think oh i had to give her my medicine i forgot to do that but i am going to move this for later so that when i get home I can remember when to do that and that's like another thing I like about Google Calendar you can just like easily adjust it and move things um so yeah so now I'm going to like look through my calendar for the next like three weeks or so oh my goodness my I'm getting a wax next week I completely forgot about that um and a vajay show look at me treat yourself guys treat yourself so I'm gonna look through my calendar for the next three or four weeks or so and kind of block off time for like writing because that's what we talked about in class today like blocking off time in the week to do writing and we said let's aim for one hour a week and i'm also going to respond to some emails that i have um that i got while i was in class because i just don't like seeing the email notification so yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing for the next 55 minutes or so like is that a camera on me i'm not trying to be caught anyway um so i ended up not getting lunch not buying lunch or even coming home to get lunch because i was just like in the zone of like um what did i do i found writing time and then i also planned some put some other stuff in my schedule and then i responded to emails and then i did some other stuff um and then i just went to my uh chiropractor so the reason why i'm going to the chiropractor is because i have scoliosis to all my biddies out there with scoliosis scoliosis gang um but it's been getting really worse i've had it since like i feel like i've had it since i was six but i was aware of it like factual like this you have scoliosis since i was about 12 or 13 um and i've just been ignoring it don't be like me take care of your body queens because it's it's gonna affect you in the long run so i've been having a lot of back pain recently it's been harder to like sleep because like my back's been hurting or whatever so um i said let me take care of it so i've been going to the chiropractor i get two adjustments a week um and i have some at home stuff that i need to do to maintain whatever i do but it really doesn't take that long it takes like 15 minutes in out oh that's another thing okay my tail first came a tail busy a tail busy i'm gonna show you guys because i did the back security 2 program 
and they emailed them was like oh you'll get your bag mid july to september and i'm like okay cool when i got my first telfer it didn't take long so i didn't expect it to take long and then when the first um bag security people were getting their stuff early so i was like it's not gonna take till september today is august 30th it took till september but um the first one i got my first new baby i already have one um i have the cobalt small um i got it for my birthday that one was actually a funny way of buying it like i was on the plane to las vegas for my birthday because my flight was like 9 15 or something and it dropped at 9 a.m as we all know and i was like pilot wait a second this is so pretty but this one i got the copper small guys this is so it's like a rose gold oh my gosh I always love like new shoes, new bags. Like I always love to smell this, but I don't really like to smell this one. But this is how it looks. Um, I don't know if you guys are seeing the full like actual color of it, but it's so pretty. Like the I'm gonna put it put this camera over the phone over here so that you guys can actually like see it. Like I'm trying to like this is so pretty, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, and then the second one I got, I splurged a bit. <laughs> I splurged a bit. I ain't money man, but I splurged a bit. Listen, Afterpay has me in a chokehold, okay? Um, but this is a medium. It's not the large, and I'm so thankful that I didn't get the large because this bag is already so big. Like, look at this. But I got the, can, can, oh, I was going to say, can you guess, but the color already came out. I got the medium blue. Dang, that was like not very, I got the pool blue actually, medium pool blue. Um, okay, the lighting over here is also very trash. Okay, let's try this way. I don't know, let's try this way. Oh, right here. <laughs> so I got the medium pool blue. You guys, I already have like two outfits prepared to you wear with this bag. Like I bought a hat from, I think it's called a Adastra Clothing. Yeah, I bought a hat that's from like Adastra Clothing. I think that's what it's called. And it's also like this color. And then I also got the um, the fours that are this color. And I'm just gonna play with those. So like those three are gonna be like my staple items for the fit. And I'm just gonna play with those and create some outfits and go take some pictures and become a fake Insta baddie. But yeah, you guys, this I wish this is big. Like look at my head. This is this is big. And for the medium, oh my god. Hey y'all. Dang, it looks like it's like 6 a.m. It's really not. It's uh 8:53. Yesterday I did almost nothing that i said i was gonna do i didn't prepare for my class discussion today um because i realized that the homework assignment was to write um a summary of our paper and then our class discussion is we were going to give a short summary of our paper so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read that summary that i wrote for my homework before class and then just shrink it if that makes sense because it's a one-page summary and i think we get like five or so minutes to discuss the paper so i'm just gonna highlight the like most important parts like intro methods um analysis plan what they found that should be enough in five minutes but i also talk fast so probably won't be five minutes but i'm also just sitting in my car right now because I'm not ready to go on campus. Um, my class also is at 9.45 and it's 8.54. So I have like a little under an hour before class starts. Um, surprisingly, I got a parking spot like as soon as I got into the parking garage, which I'm starting to absolutely love, which means I have to keep waking up this early to maintain this parking spot. But then again, I feel like as the semester goes on and um, kids that like, missing those morning classes it won't be as hectic but now everyone's like they want to make sure they come on campus get their parking spot and you know go to class but um yeah um i didn't do any writing yesterday which is okay because i have i have allotted two hours in my day today for writing 
Oh, did my voice just crack? I feel like my voice just cracked. Um, so I, I'm not too disappointed in myself for not writing yesterday because, like, because I have time. To, I have actually got time from today all the way to Friday to, um, to write. And then also Monday is Labor Day, so we don't have school. So I can, like, find the energy to um, write. Hopefully I find the energy to write. Something about tea in the morning. It's so calming. Okay, um, the meta-analysis I found looked at the relationship between parent involvement and student outcomes of specifically African-American families. So um, the, the age group that they looked at was pre-K all the way to college freshmen. And um, they included their inclusion criteria, but the only exclusion criteria that they mentioned was that they didn't want to include qualitative studies. They mentioned that it would make the um, coding a bit complicated. So because of that, they ended up with 60 studies, and then they didn't mention how, but then they narrowed that 60 studies to 42 studies. And then they ended up with a sample of 36,868 subjects. And um, they looked at parent parental involvement in six different aspects of it, including like communication, helping with homework, um, being involved in school and all that stuff. And they computed their effect sizes using T-test, F-test, P levels, frequencies, R values, and D index. So they, it was kind of very um, well done in my opinion. And um, they came with basically, um, their findings showed that there was a statistically significant association between par three um, components of parental involvement. So that was expectations, parental style, and participation. And then um, they found that communication and reading with um, children what had the um, effect size in the expected direction, but it wasn't statistically significant. And then they also, um, they had like two more components of parental involvement, but they didn't have enough studies to conduct the analyses. So they kind of just said, like they didn't make any um, conclusions from that. And then from this, they had like three main conclusions, which was parental involvement was related to positive outcomes among African-American youth, that school-based parental involvement had a positive relationship with academic achievement, and that parental expectations, parental style, and parental participation were associated with higher levels of academic achievement. guys it's now 151 i kind of wanted to catch you guys up on like how the, the day is going actually pretty fast like i'm actually shook right now but um i'm in my office i love to see it love to see it um and 11 i feel like that was a waste of time i didn't learn anything i lied i learned one app that i could use to like help me in the future to like find articles that are um find more recent up-to-date articles I'm wearing a mask even though I'm the only one in here because the taking off, putting on, taking off, it got annoying. So I was just like, I'm gonna leave it on because I drink a lot of water, so I have to use the bathroom a lot, and then people are coming in and out of the office. So it's just like I'm gonna just keep it on. Um, but yeah, class was like it wasn't a waste of time, but it wasn't that productive in my head. Um, we're gonna really start getting into um the process of doing a meta-analysis next week. 
um so i was just like let that slide but after that i came to the office i edited the youtube video that i recorded yesterday uh scheduled that to be posted for um what else did i do i went through some emails so i scheduled two informative interviews um so i had to do informative interviews this semester for my professional development class and also because like it, it's also very useful to do informative interviews because that's how you um get familiar with how people got into their work field or their career or whatever the path that they took and also they give you advice for um what they feel like they should have done or like what you can do etc cetera, etc cetera. and then i also scheduled a meeting for one of the faculty members here that i want to be a recommender for the fellowship application that i'm applying for um so i'm meeting with her in two weeks yeah um but also i'm gonna show you guys how every week is different like even though i have my set schedule every single week is different i'm gonna show you guys hold on so this was uh last week's schedule this was the first week of classes like you see it's it's a bit more spaced out you know a little rough stuff and then this is this week it's a little less spaced out but like you have a chunk of stuff going on like between today and tomorrow also i'm getting my tattoo on saturday i'm so excited and then this is next week it's a bit more solidified everything is like on like it during the day like the nine to five which is kind of like what i was hoping for but like and this is the week after like everything but also uh, granted these spaces are those spaces that i left for my um for like filming and stuff because i wanted to do a trial and error for like a month to see if that was actually going to be feasible and now that i see that it is kind of feasible i'm going to go in and uh finish rest of september scheduling but you see like every week is different um but anyway so after i edited the I did the youtube video and responded to all those emails um i started doing um some of my writing and i'm actually so proud of myself because i've really been struggling lately with writing i don't know if it's like a motivation thing or just like a i'm i don't it's not that i don't know i do know it is a motivation thing in addition to just like writer's block but um i put on um, i'm watching shadow and bones my friend put it on um put me I'm on episode six and I have that playing in the background and then I'm writing and I've been writing for about 30 45 minutes something like that which is the longest <laughs> I've been writing um in the two weeks that I've had this paper that I had to work on and then I also got heard back from my advisor and she like confirmed with me the timeline for her getting this paper back and then her getting my edits to me so today's been a very productive day I'm not gonna lie like you see I started off peaceful i didn't rush myself i ate breakfast um i didn't eat lunch yet and i'm kind of hungry but um i'm gonna go home after my so i have a meeting from three to four and then a workshop five to seven so i'm gonna go home after that meeting i'm gonna eat and give myself time to decompress because that four to five i had scheduled to do the writing that i'm doing now so hours to do writing but I have two, an hour and a half until, an hour and some until that meeting. So I'm going to take this time to do that writing. And that time that I actually scheduled in my calendar to do the writing, I would just take to relax. And then after my workshop, I'm going to go to the gym. Like, I didn't go to the gym Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not going to miss today or tomorrow. Like, I refuse to miss those days. So, yeah, I'm, like, really happy about today. I think it's partially because, um, whatchamacallit? after breakfast i had oh my gosh you guys also i've been finding shit my hair is budding like this is one oh my gosh and this is another one and i don't know if you guys can see this but this is another one i think i found maybe like six or seven um strands that are buddy and i'm just like i'm shook because i based my timeline on like i watch yeah i feel like somebody was about to come in but um i was watching youtube videos of people that have 3c 4a hair that lock their hair because that's the hair type that i have and they were like they didn't see budding until like 10 weeks in or like six months in or like whatever that was so like that was the kind of like where i based my 
timeline on. I'm like, I'm probably not going to see budding or locking in general until like six months to a year. And tomorrow makes four weeks, you guys. And I'm already seeing budding. Like right here is, I'm about to cry. Like I love my baby locks so much. Um, I also think it's because um, I've kind of like have a set uh, moisture routine. That's also going to be done today. Um, I'll probably film it for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to get back to writing before I lose my... Um, progress train i don't know what you want to call it but yeah hey guys so it's now after 10 um 10 20 to be specific i'm tired um what happened uh oh since they um at the workshop they had asked us not to record or um share any of the stuff that they posted so that's why i didn't really record much of the workshop i only probably uh recorded the intro i can't remember and then after that my mentor called me well um, she was one of my undergrad mentors. I had two mentors in undergrad, my research uh, mentor and then just a mentor that like I talked to about life and all that stuff. So she called me today and we had like an hour long conversation and it was really good. So that was fun and then after that I went to the gym. That was good. Um, and then I took a shower and here I am. So um, I'm about to do my moisture routine for my my little baby locks. Uh, so what I usually do is I would either go in the shower and just wet my hair or I would use a spray bottle. Um, this is also a very good spray bottle. Like it doesn't, um, it doesn't like spray, it, it like mist your hair, which I really, really like. Uh, my hair is already wet, but I like it to be like really wet when I do this because my hair is low. It takes a while for it to like soak up. And then I don't want the water to like dry before it actually, my hair actually gets to soak it up. So I like it to be as damp as possible. And then I will go in with um, Wild Growth. What, when I was doing my little research before I did my locks, and even now up to this day, because I still watch videos, I was like ha looking at videos on how people moisturize their locks, and they used very specific oils. So I was going to. Um, get some of those oils and then make my own concoction but then i already had wild wood from before and i like looked at the ingredients and it was a lot of those oils that those people were using like specifically castor oil jojoba oil um what else grapeseed oil eucalyptus and lavender those were very repetitive when I was watching the videos of people's moisture routines for their locks. So I was like, let me just try this out in the meantime. And you guys, I'm three weeks into my lock Three weeks and I'm already seeing budding. I don't know if like you guys saw it earlier when I showed you um when I was in my office, but let me see if I can find them again. This one right here has started budding. Um this one right here has started budding. I don't know. I really don't even know if you guys can see it because it was hard for me to see in person anyway. And so I know it must be harder. This one right here has started budding. Uh, this, this one, I really don't know if you guys can see. But this one right here has started, like, I found like a good, I want to say 10. Today, like when I was at school, I found like six, but then I put these down and then some of these have started. Well, this one right here, I don't know if you guys can see that. Like this one isn't as um, faster in the process, like further in the budding process. Like this is like just started, but like you guys, three weeks in. And I was also watching videos. Um, the woman who like started my locks and who has been like helping me maintain them, she's like, look at videos of people who have your hair type who got their locks and like see how long their process took and for them oh my goodness and for them they were like they're six months into their lock journey and they um their hair hadn't locked yet or like one year in and their hair just like just started locking like locking locking and i'm already budding you guys no that's not budding i thought it was budding but it's just um unraveling but yeah, so I feel like the part of it, I feel like, is the wild growth and then like the rest is just, I don't know, blessings. Because I'm very surprised. I gave myself like 10 weeks before I would even see one of them budding. And it's three weeks, you guys. 
And I've just been playing in my hair all day to just find more that are buddy that I probably missed. Um, eh, this one's like starting, but hasn't like really gotten there yet. But yeah, back to the routine. So I moisturize my scalp with the wild growth. Just like go through the rows, horizontal, vertical. Um, and then I use the Jamaican mango and lime black casserole with vitamins A, D, and E. So, and I put that on my hair to lock in that moisture. And that is it. That literally, that is it. Um, my wild growth is almost done. So I'm debating whether or not I want to buy more or actually like get the oils itself and just make my own concoction but I feel like that would be a waste because I'm buying all the oils that are already in the wild growth so might as well pay for one oil that has all the oils I'm still debating I don't know yet I don't know yet we're gonna figure it out when this is done I feel like this will, this will be done by next week because I do this every three days so um I'm hoping by the time I do this again I will know whether or not I want to oh excuse me I stopped like I had to go to Petco to get some stuff for Sienna and then I um when I got frozen yogurt because I wanted to treat myself but yeah I'm gonna show you guys the final prod pro product right okay so um I got an elephant because elephants are like my favorite animal elephants and pandas those are like my top two elephants are number one though um 
and I just love what elephants stand for in my head like their strength their wisdom their gentleness their their I just love elephants um so I got the elephant to just kind of embody that and I absolutely love this tattoo so I'm gonna show you guys like look at that like it's already kind of like uh bleeding through but like it is so cute like Oh my gosh, I love it. And what's so funny is I found this on Pinterest. Like, I went on Pinterest and I was just typing, I just typed in um, tattoos for women. And then this came up. And I saved it on my Pinterest button. And I was like, let me wait. Let me not jump the gun and see if I really wanted it. But I just kept coming back to it, kept coming back to it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get it. And I was originally going to get it on my um, thigh. But I was like, no, I want it somewhere where I can just like, just have it there. And just, ah, I love it. I love it so much you guys like uh, i feel like this was a great way to end this week because this week was rough like rough between the not sleeping and then the struggling to write and then all that stuff this is this was a great way to end the week so yeah week two of my second year in the books